I don't want to put the mic too close so it picks up my every single nasal flare. And 11 p.m. Let's dive in. Uh, welcome to another GNL dive for the week of 810. And let's see what we got in the reset. won't lie it kind of makes me a little apprehensive every time it takes a hot second like that to get through the through the loading spin cuz I'm, I'm just so used to iOS making redownload everything alright let's see what we got here first and foremost how bad did Carl get shafted actually as long as I'm here fragments this week are Shining Shenlong and Tall Geese. Cool Shenlong? No, regular Shenlong. Hi, Carl. Vulcans. Okay, that's fine. Someday those will be cool. A buttload of armor and shot defense. I'm kind of okay with that. Dead trait. Big beefy stats. Okay. As we expected, a mag. Uh, C7 really ain't bad. For free, I'll definitely take that. Um, also, look at those defenses. My word, sir. No saber combo, which I was kind of expecting. Hey there. That is an almost free, unconditional EX boost for most content. With Federation Heavy Armor, that is pretty goddamn stellar. That's definitely going on the list for the, for the review sheet. Uh, dead trait, and same kind of bulky defenses, I like it. This, I'm not sure how to really feel about this new, new when on auto trait scheme. It really feels like a gimmick because of how much lack of control you have. It's, it's for the lazy, which I am lazy, but... Though to be fair, saber trait... I, I can see myself throwing that on something if I'm just trying to, like, blow through free missions or something. Or even just daily crew. Uh, yeah, that's definitely worthwhile. For that kind of autonomous stuff, at least. And the rifle. The Jigen rifle everyone's been waiting for. With 4,000 armor, goddamn. 1,500 shot defense. That's not a good gun, but it's a really good shield. <laughs> Uh, job gauge has its place. I don't think Federation tags it. Still, better than I thought it'd be. I guess let's see what's going on over in the actual main event capsule before we peek to see if we have anything going on in the alterations. Alright, Blazing. I cannot wait to write this. I've already called dibs, mostly because we know absolutely nothing about it, and it makes the lore blurb on the sheet really easy. Uh, actually, not really as impressive as I thought it'd be, even pre-alter. Huh. I mean, armor's kind of up there, but... Melee and melee are pretty okay, but that makes it feel more like, you know, Epion levels, not crazy melee levels with a giant melee defense. I mean, it's so good, so fantastic, but it's not really where I thought it'd be. Uh, that's brain dead and great, cool. High firepower, close combat. Two tags are incredibly easy to finish. Wopa spoilers. Alright, yeah, that is more like it. The torsos always have that beef to them. Um, I like the shot defense being that high. Though it's not, it's not super crazy like recent stuff like, uh, like Full Armor ZZ was. But still, that's a good spread of Ds, and that's an excellent melee attack. Though standard's really creeping up on there, too. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, 
S had 3,500 on its raw shot on its torso, too. I mean, oh. Well, hello. I guess that's what makes Super Sokai. Uh, really, really easy tag to finish with a universal power boost. Yeah, it's probably going to get the 5. Um, melee attack's a little low, but melee defense makes up for it. Everything else is actually a little underwhelming. Truth be told. Uh, I'll have to see this in motion. If this is just Prominence Fist, because it's kind of raising your defense, I don't know. Hopefully it has something unique about it, but otherwise B plus on a 38 with the defense buff is, yeah, it's interesting. I don't see mobile armor, so, you know, have fun everybody with that. Or not mobile armor, rather, mobile fighter. And as soon as I open my mouth and say that, there's mobile fighter. Uh, kick combo. Sad. D. But I guess Alter can fix that. Still, um, 10% base with a 330. If this gets a boost up to B+, even if that stat boost doesn't move... That's going to be pretty damn solid. Those stats are stellar for a leg, really. Yeah, just like the leg, that back's pretty great. This... this feels like a combo. I hope it's not a combo. And the Tonfa, which just looks amazing. Uh, big stat, kind of disappointing outside of that melee attack. Uh, easy, awesome, desirable, brain dead trait. Yeah, this is great across the board, but I don't really get what's going on with the head stats and the arm stats, really. Okay, time for cat dog. Right, yeah, right on the bat, right off the bat, the head, right there. There's our forty percent. Uh, this, this is more of what I was looking for, um, or I was expecting, rather. I mean, the armor's a little low, but not deal-breaking. That, that big defense and that big attack is, is kind of a nice thing. I, <laughs> for a second, I saw the, um, I saw the chest plate and I saw the, physical main line. I thought that was self-destruct. Armor's a little low, but that defense more than makes up for it. Big it's back, big defenses. I like these stat lines that do this. So is that a 12 second? Yeah, so it's 12 second, 8 minus C. Uh, like all the 12 second clubs, it'll probably turn to an AA. Defense for just you? That's interesting. So it's selfish. Hmm. Usually the 12 seconds for all uh, support buffs. Oh, zero armor. I hate seeing that. But I love seeing those stats. Oof. Gotta be a cutscene. Though 8 minus makes me a little apprehensive. All of these Tiger Wolf stuff is boosting your defense, which is not unwelcome, but I can't help but feel like it's a little bit of a waste. Then again, you have huge defense on most of this. Hey, four computers. How you doing, buddy? I knew you'd show up on here. Okay, so this is going to be like a raptor break. Uh, with a melee attack boost on a 3 second. Alter that. Oh, it's only 5% pace. Well, let's hope the alter does something about that and the power. But otherwise, that'll be nice. And then shield throw. I mean, shield throw. What are you going to do? Uh, have gigantic melee stats on the, sh on the back itself, apparently. little sad for your mobile fighter folks that this didn't get mobile fighter and a shield to take advantage of that slot, but what are you going to do? 
So definitely so far the hot items are the head, clearly. And uh, EX is all the way down. I'll have to see some animations, but that's the one I'm really interested in. Is the older version of the breaker. And as far as blazing goes, I mean, all the traits are pretty solid. Top to bottom and the EXs look good. Like you said before, the module's really interesting. I'm curious what the animation is on that. If it's just Marshall, if it's just Fist. If she doesn't say? No. No, it does not. I'll still be interesting to look into. Not that I'm necessarily going to pull on, but... While we're here, how about my boy Fritz? I'm sorry. Wits? Um, he shoot real good, and he got real at rate. Where'd he go? And totally not Angelo. He's looking at, um... <sighs> if there's anything but piercing, that'd be interesting at least. Otherwise, he's not really that exciting. Ah, oh, just excuse me, I am very nasally this week. Reprint is Delta and Pill Rider, that's neato. I'll get my freeze later. Actually, you know what? I'm already here. Let's get a little bit of a quick pull on those free capsules. Bonus live pull content for you all. Just so I don't forget it when I wake up later. And immediately the junk. There's only one or two blue pieces I want to try to make a second copy of. That is not it. Chevalier Saber is one of them. I've been trying to get a second set of that maxed up and altered. And a greenie. Deal with that later. So, with the event and the capsules out of the way, let's head over to the Altar Land and see what's going on at that end. Sumo did get an altar. Wow. God damn. Okay. Combat stance, combat stance went up predictably. That's fine. Um, what the hell are these stats? Uh, I mean, I wasn't expecting much because it's event here, but... Yeah. Okay. Hopefully the arm fare is a little bit better. That's aesthetically pleasing, but nothing I really want to actually use. Um, melee power boost and fatal blow. 40 or less fatal blow, that's goofy. Wait, that only maxes out at 10? Oh, this was so weird when it came out. This has some early installment weirdness going on. I have bunker, it's boosted to B. Good for it. Uh, reminder that this skill is 100% split damage between range and melee. Well, I guess 50-50 split at that point. So you're going to have to take some investment to get the most out of it, but otherwise it's interesting enough. Um, uh, stats really didn't move that much. Which is a shame, because sumo arms always used to be really solid for uh, something rocking that ace tag. Even up until their last revive. Flight unit. Uh, four second, but with a 35 cooldown. God, early installment weirdness. Still, it travels you far. The projectile travels far. It knocks down. It does good damage. You can check out the animation over in the uh, Arena EX Skill Showcase. It's kind of nice. Piercing crit rate, go home. No one loves you. Storm Edge? Did it move much? What was it, just a B before? Quick side grade over here just to scope that out. Give me a little sad if it just went from a B to a B plus. 
No, it's still B+. Plus. Oh, it's cooldown profile. Got a little bit better. Uh, got some ICD and then did absolutely nothing for the actual buff. That's really disappointing. And then the hand beam gun, which just looks cool. You know what? That's not half bad. That's an easily accessible ace mid rifle with a pretty good secondary trait. I... Since I believe I actually have one of these at 10 anyway, I will probably alter this depending on what it costs. What do these cost? Oh, just a single light altar? Oh, sick. Okay. Thanks to my amazing crew, I have tons of those. Uh, all in all, Sumo, if you want an easy, easy source of combat stance, fantastic. Um, otherwise, maybe the legs would make a really effective uh, mobility and ranged option EX. There's not much else going on, really at all. Stats are almost non-existent in their changes, and the traits are eh. Like I said, rifle's kind of a niche thing, which I will definitely pick up for my own purposes, but might not really be useful for most people. Still, great skin bait if you don't have any of these parts, or missing some gaps. Uh, Jeltron, how you looking on your... Woo! Alright, that's a nice little boost. Um, sort of? Hold on. So we're looking at 36 and 58 for our melee and defenses. wonder if that really got anywhere. It's a 40-40 as expected, though 20% for income and shot is a big increase, to be honest. I mean, don't get hit's the answer, but uh, it is a legitimate downside. It's still going to get the Reggie when I get to it, though, because it's, it's a double 40 boost. How can I not get the Reggie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, wonderful stats. Armor's still a little low, and that beam resistance is actually comical. Like, I'm laughing at it right now, but otherwise it's fantastic. Yep, 12 second turn to an A plus, A minus. It's still just raising your defense. I really want to see the animation in this later. It'll be interesting. Uh, 4K and 66? That's gross. It's, I mean, no resistance, but it's just big defenses, which honestly are way higher than resist anyway. Well, technically, defenses and resist are weighed the same in damage calculation when you're getting hit. But the fact is, on the vast majority of parts of this game, you're going to have more defense and resist anyway. So resist generally is a non-factor. Uh, punchy punch, or whatever this happens to be. Oof. Yep, that's probably a cutscene, and it fixes his power right up to S plus and SS. I guess that's just going to be the Super Sokai norm now. Uh, yeah, yeah, 10,000, almost 6,000. No armor, comical. I mean, you can even say armor is arguably a better defensive stat than defense, but it's there. Breaker, a B plus A plus breaker, three seconds, melee raise. This is just going to be a really, really good skill across the board if it's the same animation as the other breakers. Yeah, fantastic stats on everything. It's not even a contest anymore. And a B plus shield throw. I mean, hey, if you get it, alter it. If you got a Gaia for your back, you need a... So what Blazing's got up sleeves. <sighs> I like the idea of the passive regens. Especially one of these that gets you it on the front half of your armor. Unlike some of the other ones on other soak guys that require you to be under a certain amount. Or even welfares like uh, a Goof Custom. But just, <sighs> you need so much investment to even get a, a good proper amount of armor out of that. 50 is a drop in the bucket, even 200 is. You're gonna have to stack a couple of those to really see any effect. Still, it's there. Um, I guess you get about a grand in, in each side of the melee. Certainly not as as overall silly as Jaltron. 
yeah, not as overall silly as Jeltron, surprisingly, for being a OG headline suit, but it's still good. Okay, that's just phenomenal. Uh, it has tons of armor to make up for not having the shot defense, as long as you build it as you need to. What do we got here? 40-40, but again, shot damage raised. So you're really not going to want to get hit with this thing. Because your shot defense is going to be on the lower end anyway. Not to say 3200 isn't respectable, but that's at 99, so you're probably going to look closer to 29 or 3000. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna get 40 40 on everything, every Super Sokai. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, A minus only went up from B plus to A minus. Actually, a little disappointing there. And the buff didn't seem to move. Maybe it did go up a 10%, but it's defense, so I didn't really notice it. Still, good stats like everything else. Stats are just going to be good on anything on Soka Banner. I mean, stats are the least evergreen part of a part now that it's always going to be crept eventually. But still, I'm not expecting to be disappointed by really anything here. Uh, A plus, B plus, 3 seconds, 19 melee after cast, kick combination. It works. I know plenty of people who altered stuff like Palace Athene Legs just for this particular skill, just for this particular melee buff effect, and now that has great pierce and great power. Fantastic. Yeah, that's an S. That's something. S minus base, too. I mean, it's not SS, but. Really, what's what's the difference on S and S S minus? Probably a lot. Probably a disgusting amount, to be fair. Uh, stats great. I got no complaints about that across the board. It's definitely gonna keep it say. I'll just have to see what's going on with this combo, if it is a combo. Or maybe it's a maybe it's a wishy wish like um, Justice Knight legs. It's gonna be nice at this kind of stat line and power. Have to track down the videos and find out. And then finally, the Tomfa gains back parts. And a ass load of attack. Wow! Okay. Yikes! That's pretty nice. Uh, did uh, 3035. I mean. Back is probably one of the better part-specific boost rates you can get, just because there's a lot going on in the back for people that care about that in, in for example, Arena. I don't like part-specific traits because they're not terribly versatile. They're only affecting one of your three EXs. But if you're running Arena with one EX anyway, yeah, it's, it's fine. That's definitely not the worst you can get for it. Yeah, overall, again, some disgusting choices, and <sighs> most is going to be 4 or 5 across the board, but these days that just seems to be how it sits on the scale for Super Sokai. Maybe the scale needs to be revisited? Who knows? Um, I do like seeing that Sumo got an altar, because that means we're going to be seeing once a month maybe some uh, arena suits go through with much, much needed altars. I'd like to see some more interesting trait combinations next time, but beggars can't be choosers. Uh, and I think that more or less rounds up the content for the week. I don't think there's anything terribly surprising on Carl that we needed to really check out the animations for. It's Vulcans and a... Armag, which I'm going to expect to be very similar to Zeta, or Alternate Stark Jigen, or Rabawu. Not the craziest week, but a very, very solid one, and one that's going to make melee users and mobile fighter users very happy to finally have some more representation there. Not being locked to uh, Master and a few other choice build projects in God. 
of curiosity, anything else happened in here? Oh yeah, new battle circuit. Alright, since we didn't get any new uh, standard altars with it, that last batch with X Divider and uh, Victory must have been meant for this. Advanced skill mode. Okay, so this is just a gimme. This is this is a free battle circuit. Bring a mag, have a good time. Otherwise, uh, that's it for the week, I guess. Uh, I've been the other MC for your weekly GNL dive. Come visit our Discord for more information, tips, tricks, stats, and strats over at discord.gg slash gbm. And you all be excellent.